Hello and what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC. Today we have another unboxing going on here. We got this a package here from NetFoss. They reached out to me via IG and said, hey, we have some nice that we want you to check out and create some content in your channel. I said, sure, absolutely. By all means, send them right over. So thank you to the NetFoss team for sending these. You guys saw the title and thumbnail. Let's dig right into it. Doing the honors today, we have the Spyderco Yojimbo here. I've been EDCing this guy like crazy and i cannot wait to do the review here which is going to be coming up very very shortly so yeah let's just go ahead and make an incision somewhere here hopefully i didn't do too much too much damage there let's see what we have oh -ho -ho! and we got not one but two all right, we got two knives going on here. So this is interesting. I was only expecting one, but they sent two. And again, this is uh, the NetFoss brand. A little bit of substantial weight going on here. So it's gonna be interesting. As far as the names, what do we have? We have a, all right, this first one here is gonna be the D2 Pocket Knife BTEMS. And uh, this one here is gonna be the D2 Pocket Knife BTEYS. Okay, so it sounds to me like they are very similar models, perhaps different variations. So that's gonna to be interesting yeah without further ado let's see any mini mini mo catch a youtube viewer by the toe all right let's uh let's go with uh, the right one here let's put that one to the side here here we go okay we're wasting no time we're going to dig in there right off the bat and this is always the fun part <laughs> oh let's see let's see let's, let's get a little creative here got that uh, my my letter envelope opener see bam just like that and then bam there we go let's see what we have going on here all right, tight fit, tight fit right there. And again, this one is the MS model. Let's take a look here where we have a, a nice carbon fiber like material here and uh, a very nice, you know, like hardcore zipper pouch. Let's go ahead and open it up here, shall we? And let's see what we have on this bad boy. All right, we have some instructions here. NetFoss more than sharp user manual. All right, very good. I think that's a different language there. Maybe German, I'm not sure. You guys let me know what language that is. We have a nice little tool here, a T8 and a T6, it looks like. So that's a nice bonus right there. Nice cleaning pouch with the NetFoss logo. That's always good. I know Civivi and Senkut and other brands also include a cleaning pouch. So you can never have too many of those. <laughs> and here we go, this is a knife itself. Let's make some room here, shall we? Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness take a look at this you guys is this titanium am I, am I looking at this right is this titanium on this guy sure it looks like it uh, i gotta tell you what got a linear going on here okay let's check out the action here really quick shall we bam <laughs> let's hear the sound on that it is a liner lock of course and oh my goodness that thing fires open like crazy and uh where's that ball bearings yeah it looks like uh ball bearings in there that's what it that's what it feels like Holy smokes. And then, yeah, this has got to be titanium. I'm gonna get a look at these specifics here in just a second. Nice drop point blade here with a D2 steel. This model here is called the W. Swan. W. Swan. And come on camera, I know you can do it. There it is, nice focus there. And it looks like we have some uh, G10 going on here. So nice titanium. And this looks like titanium. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm gonna double check here in a second. And uh, G10 material going on. Nice integration there between the two. So that's pretty neat right there. And uh, flipping action right here, that's also pretty good. All right, how are the ergos on this guy? Look at this, right? So you got the indentation or curve there for your index, middle finger, and then ring and pinky all fall in there very, very well. So that's that's very nice. No jimping right here at the top. They're going for a more sort of elegant design, it looks like. So that's pretty neat. Let's uh, let's check this other one here, shall we? Let's put that one to the side. Let's take a look at this uh, other bad boy here. So let's see what we have. Again, they have a very similar model name. They just have a variation on the specific, I guess, materials or model. And so let's check out this guy. Same carbon fiber pouch right there. Instructions. We have the cloth right there, cleaning cloth. <laughs> okay. 
take a look at this. Now this one here, this bad boy, all right, let's, let's make some room here, shall we? Let's clean up our, our work area a little bit. <laughs> all right, so check out this other bad boy. So this definitely looks like the same same knife, except this one has, I wanna say, stainless steel going on and a different satin finish blade. I wanna say, is it also D2? Uh, let me double check here. Yes, it says that on the blade, D2 steel, satin finish on this one. W Swan, same model from Netfoss, but uh, this one seems to have the stainless steel and G10 combination, whereas the, the first one that we unboxed has uh, a titanium looking and G10, same D2 blade. Take a look at them right there side by side, and, and they both come with a sort of uh, paracord linear going on here as well by, uh, by default. And uh, okay, let's uh, check out the dual action right here. <laughs> okay, what do you what do you guys think? All right, uh, you know, but wanted to have some matching action going on. Man, these are some uh, some thick boys. I got to tell you that. Take a look right there. Let me double check right here. So we have two models. Let's see. The first one is the what they call the silver. All right, silver. D2 3.5 inch blade G10 handle, $34.99. This on special, full price $40. And they have a titanium version. That's this guy right here. And that one is uh, also on special right now. Usually $40 and it's at $34.99. By the way, guys, these knives are linked down below. So make sure to check out the links down there. They do help out the channel when you use those links, but that is entirely up to you. I wanna say, let's compare this guy to a knife that we recently unboxed in the channel. And bam, that is the Lothar Leech King. Lothar, for those of you that don't know, is the premium brand to Netfoss. And you can see somewhat of similarities, especially with the dual element type of handles, exposed metal and G10 combination and things like that. This one also came with a paracord linear uh, that had a skull attached to it. If you saw the unboxing, you know exactly what I am talking about. But yeah, I can see some similarities here. Of course, this one is a little bit more upscale. If you haven't seen the unboxing on this guy, make sure to check that out. I've been ADCing this guy like crazy and the review for this guy is going to be live in the channel here very very soon so if you want to check that out and you're not yet subscribed this will be a great time to make sure that subscribe button is turned from red to gray so that means that you are subscribed but yeah going back to these guys man i gotta tell you this this titanium version right here this is something this is something it is a quite comfortable feels like a good comfortable knife to hold right here a nice very usable drop point blade right there with d2 which is a very very common steel in this um you know 40 to 50 dollar category which is very good and again this guy's coming in at $35. So yeah, I'm excited to EDC these knives. I can't wait to kind of put them to good use. The blade is 3.5 inches total length and it looks like we have t8 in the pivot and t6 everywhere else pretty decently deep carry pocket clip it looks like it is mounted a little bit diagonal or slanted there to the side which is interesting and yeah i got a lanyard hole for all the lanyard people out there like the five of you out there but no i'm just kidding i'm just teasing but yeah double pivot screw here on both ends that's interesting and yeah it's, it's a thick boy because you got the you got the titanium and g10 scales and then you have those liners inside as well so that's pretty neat some thick spacers right there and yeah going back to that action it is a liner lock so uh just gonna do it a couple times here bam should we do a quick paper cutting test yeah let's do that why not again right out of the box let's check the sharpness on this guy i'm doing the titanium version right here real quick <laughs> okay pretty slicey you guys be the judge right there all right let's try the silver version right here right again d2 as well but the silver in the handle same model and everything w swan with d2 ho, ho, ho. i want to say does this one slice a little bit better I, I, that's the read i'm getting well I'm, I'm feeling like yeah i'm feeling like this guy slices just a little bit better let me let me go back to the hmm all right just just kind of using my 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 feel here in the hand i want to say this satin finish one is Wow, yeah, this one is more of a slicer, I feel like. Maybe it's perhaps the uh, there's a silver coat going on in this blade. That could be why. Again, still a performer, right? Still cutting. No doubt about that. As you can see, it hasn't struggled at all. And they're both very, very good at slicing and cutting, as you can see there. But if I had to pick one right here as far as slicing performance, this satin finish, again, because it doesn't have that paint coating, it's uh, slicing. Oh, so much, so much nicer. Just, just again, the, the feeling in the hand is what I'm going by. How much resistance I'm feeling here. And yeah, this guy just slices a lot better. So you guys be the judge. Rate it on a scale from 1 through 10. How sharp these knives are out of the box. And let me know in the comments. 
But man, I gotta say, <laughs> so far I'm impressed right off the bat. Again, NetFoss did send these out for review purposes. So thank you again to the NetFoss team for sending these out. Again, these will be linked down below in the description for you guys to check them out. And again, those links do help out the channel at no extra cost to you. And yeah, I'm gonna EDC them. You guys know how the drill works here. I'm gonna EDC them for at least two weeks and then come back with a comprehensive review for you guys. Probably the first thing that I'm gonna do though, <laughs> you know right off the bat, is I'm gonna take off this paracord lanyard. I can already see, you can you can see me already struggling with it. Like it's already getting in the way. And no, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I'm just, it's, it's not the type of, you know, it's, it's not my style, right? It's not how I carry my knives. Well, there you have it guys. It's a quick little unboxing video for you all to check out the NetFoss W Swan. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And chances are by the time you're done watching this video, the review on the Lothar Leech King is gonna be available. If that's the case, I'm gonna put a card right here for you guys to check out that video next. Take care guys, have an awesome rest of your day. See you next time, peace.